guys, what's up? It is Yee Chinchilla Notebook here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be on 10 weird chinchilla behaviors and I just thought I would make this video in case that you guys wanted to relate with your own chinchillas or in case you're just wondering some weird things that come with having a chinchilla. So if you guys are ready for that, then here we go. So the first thing is the squealing or squeaking in the middle of the night. I honestly, I figured out why chinchillas do it. I, oh my goodness, no. I think it's just because they want attention because my chinchilla used to do this a lot and he sometimes still does. Like randomly in the middle of the night or towards the evening, Merlin will just start squealing or squeaking for no reason and it sounds like he's hurt or something but he just wants attention. Like I go in the laundry room and he's just perfectly fine so I don't really understand that but that is one really weird behavior of chinchillas. The second behavior is that they pee in their hay when they're just like literally done with it and I absolutely hate this. Merlin, he'll pull all of his hay out of his hay rack which I cleaned everything up but he'll pull, pull all of it out and then he'll just pee in it like he'll eat as much as he wants to and then he'll just start peeing on it and it turns disgusting and smells bad and he won't eat the rest of it and that really bothers me but he does this all the time so that is definitely a behavior that Merlin really needs to stop because it's really gross and it's just annoying, you know what I mean? Like, he just wastes good hay. The third thing is that they roll around on their fleece. And a lot of people ask me, they actually DM me and they like comment and they're like, why does my chinchilla do this? Why does he roll around on his fleece? Well, pretty much if you give them their dust bath in their cage, there's going to be a lot of dust that sits on top of the fleece and they'll smell that and they'll like roll around in it when they want their dust bath. Or the other thing is that even if you don't give their dust bath in their cage they could still when like when they come out of it they could still shake their fur off and there could be dust that ends up on the fleece so that's why they roll around but yeah it's pretty weird if you ever just notice your chinchilla just you know like bury with their paws like this and then roll around it's probably because there's dust or they smell it or they want it or something like that so the fourth thing is when they try to eat your hair oh my word this happens all the time like my hair will just be down my hair is relatively long so it will always like Merlin will just, I'll just be sitting here for playtime and Merlin will just hop onto my lap and start chewing my hair. It's really annoying, but it's definitely something chinchillas are obsessed with. So watch out for your hair if you don't want it to be chewed off. This is why I don't really have him come out for playtime because he's all over the place. Anyway, so the fifth thing is running up and down the cage furiously fast, like really, really fast. And Merlin will do this sometimes. He will just run up and down his cage, up and down his cage. Oh my word, my phone case is silicon and he always tries, look. Do you see that little like chewed piece in front of, on like on top of my camera? That's Merlin's work, he literally chewed my phone case, so that's fun. This will happen at night most of the time. It happens at night when he's full of energy and whatever and he'll just run up and down his cage. But he'll just go like up and down all his ledges, over his wheel, sometimes in his wheel. He'll like, completely knock his food dish over like that's just his routine you know number six is managing to get into the weirdest places Merlin has jumped into the trash can on accident I, I think I might have caught it almost on ax like on film one time um he's gotten into the laundry basket he's gotten behind these washers and dryers he's just chinchillas get in the weirdest of places ever like <laughs> even my first chinchilla always used to escape and he would always end up in the closet in our shoes like in my dad's boots like work boots so Really, they end up in the weirdest of places, and if given the opportunity, they'll, they'll like, find themselves stuck somewhere, so you always have to watch them. Number seven is dragging their pillow around the cage. Merlin only does this when he's upset, like, or he's, like, excited or something, and I think you guys have seen it maybe sometimes, but he'll just, like, hop onto his pillow and start biting it and calling it, like, here, let me just annoy him really fast, and I'll show you guys what I mean. So, you lure them. And then you start to bug them, just like, I'm sorry Merlin, he's not, he's like in a good mood today. Oh, not for long, not for long. Like, I'm trying to bug him. Yeah, okay. Oh, he almost did it. He's like beginning to attack the pillow. Like, he'll start like wagging his tail, getting really upset. Okay, whatever, he's not doing it, but basically that's what Merlin does. He gets mad and he starts attacking his pillow and like clawing at it. A thing is that they make a big deal about they make a big deal about being let out and then just sit there. So yeah, Merlin does this all the time. Like I'll let him out because he'll be squeaking, he'll be like barking, he'll be at the edge of his cage, really like trying to get out. And then I let him out and he just like this 
sits here for, well, not like this, but he'll sit in a position like that for literally 10 minutes straight without blinking, without moving, without twitching, and I never know what's going on in his brain, but literally, I feel like all chinchillas just do this, and when people tell me, like, how do you get all those cute pictures of Merlin, like, sometimes, literally, he'll just sit there and do absolutely nothing for a good five minutes, and that's how I get the pictures, so in case you guys are curious. Number nine is, I'm sure you actually just heard it, but it is when they grind their teeth together. People sometimes are worried about this, and as long as your chinchilla isn't doing it 24-7, like, all the time, it's not a problem. Merlin does this especially after having treats. It's just to grind his teeth together, get them cleaned up, whatever. It's nothing to be worried about. I forgot, like, there's another reason why they do it, and I forgot why, but... It's not a negative reason, so don't stress out if your chinchilla does this. I'm sure you have, if you own a chinchilla, you've heard your chinchilla grinding their teeth together. It's it's weird. It's just like, I don't even know how to describe the sound. You just have to hear it. And I'm sure you do with Merlin all the time because he does it. So anyway, the last one, number 10, is that he knocks his food bowl out when it's empty. Literally, this is how I know that Merlin needs new food because, do you hear him? He just grinded his teeth. No. But um, I will fill up the food bowl and then he'll finish it off no no he'll finish it off and then pretty much he will knock the food bowl out like he, i got a coop cup which hooks up onto the side of the cage so that he would stop flipping his bowl because he used to flip his ceramic bowl all the time but it turns out that there you go he just grinded his teeth but it turns out that he knows how to flip that over too so it can be really frustrating but yeah i don't know who else is chinchilla does that just flip their food bowl over when they're like empty or they're mad that's how Merlin lets me know that he wants new fresh food because sometimes he'll do it when it's full or whatever but anyway or maybe that's just him being naughty but yeah guys that's pretty much it for the video I hope you guys enjoyed it but those are 10 weird chinchilla habits and like behavioral patterns that chinchilla exhibits so I hope you guys found it entertaining and that you can relate to some of these I'm sure that I'm not the only one who experienced these with Merlin but without further ado I will let you guys go Stop it, stop chewing everything, Mer Merlin. We used to whip a dirty tourist, they said, Watch me on the bed. Now I hop up on the plane and take it to a laying back.